Hey everyone, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D Print Creator. And in this episode I'm going to show you how I'm going to make LED lamps that I can use for my video productions. So uh, I bought a whole lot of those LED lamps. Uh, they're flashlights and well they're quite special because they have a very nice selectable beam width. So you can select how uh, wide or how narrow the beam is. And they run on three batteries and they run for ages on them. So uh, I can use them for my small productions that I do here in home where I want to light uh, an object or a printer or that kind of things. So uh, what I want to do is I want to be able to have these lamps mounted on something so that I can aim them. And therefore I'm going to use a lot of those lamps because, uh, well, <laughs> I bought a lot of them. There were only 2 euro 50 uh, in the shop, so they were very cheap. So I bought a lot of them. And I'm also going to use these knurl nuts or knurl nuts. Um, those are brass inserts which have a threaded inside. And uh, that's exactly the same uh, size as that my tripods have. Uh, it's a quarter by 20, an American size, which is very uncommon here in Europe. Uh, but we all use it worldwide for tripods. So uh, those inserts are going to be melted inside the print. Uh, and then you create a very strong print, which is very handy to use. Now. I'm going to take you guys into Fusion 360 where I'm going to design this thing. So I'll take you along. Here is my Fusion 360. And at first let me create uh, a new component. And I'll give it a name. Uh, this component is called my LED holder. And uh, well I'm going to uh, select a center circle. But that's the first thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to uh, place it on my ground plane. So this is the ground plane. And here I'm going to draw a circle which is 24, oh, 24 millimeters uh, in uh, diameter. 24.2 actually to be correctly. Um, now I have this. I'm also going to draw a box. So I hit the S key and say I want to type rectangular pattern uh, here, two point rectangle. And I'm going to use these points because they're very easy. Uh, and make it 20 millimeters. So something like this. And now again I'm going to, uh, to draw a circle. And now I'm making it 30 millimeters, so something like this. This is a very simple object, um, but you can see what I'm doing when I'm going for the fillet. So I type the Q command and I select which parts I want to extrude. And those are these parts. And I want to extrude it 24 millimeters in height. So this is how I did it. And now again I want to uh, draw a box, so I go for the rectangle, a two-point rectangle, and I want to draw it on the ground plane and well select this size because this is going to be my cutout. Uh, now again after I've drawn this I select it with the Q command and uh, I can just move it away. Um, now I'm going to take a look at the other side because I want to insert my neural nut and this neural nut can be inserted in a hole that is 8.3 millimeters in size. So I again hit the S button. This is my center diameter circle. Uh, if you don't know what it is just type in the word uh, circle. Uh, circle. I have to type it in English, so circle, this is it, and then select the right one. Now select the plane on which you want to type, and here you see a green line. I hope that you can see it in the video compression. This is the center of the part. Now I'm going to draw it, and 8.3 millimeters will be the correct size for me to uh, insert that neural nut. So 
I'll select this and uh, as you can see it's blue so I have not uh, yet connected it to any of the sides but I don't want to I don't care so I hit the Q button click it and now I can uh, just take the material away and basically this is it now just for some uh, refinement to make it nicer I'm also going to search for a fillet and uh, um, I'm going to fillet the sides here so that they are 1.5 mm, that's too much, one uh, that they are just a little bit rounded I'm also going for a fillet here so again I'm going to select these two parts they can have just a little bit more just to make them smooth so I'm going for three millimeters something like this just for for the ease of printing uh, I'm going to make a fillet here so again uh, well I can use this fillet here on my bar but you can't choose it so um, going to select it here again one millimeter is more than enough uh, this is for me to aim the, the neural nut inside which is yeah, very handy at this way and also I'm going to make a fillet on these bars so again I'm going to select where I want to put the fillet like here and one and a half millimeter would be sufficient because it's three millimeters thick hey something's going wrong here 1.5 this is strange I don't know why it does it uh, well select one also good now this is the part and as you can see it's good to go now so this is the part I want to print um, I'm going to the save as STL and here I select its binary uh, the refinement is high well it can be medium as well it doesn't really matter and I'll select my LED holder because I already created one but I think this one is, is just a little bit better and now it's saved so this is how fast and how easy I just could make the LED holder in uh, Fusion 360 now uh, I'm going to send this file to my printers and see uh, what comes out and then we will take a look in how I can insert these brass knurl nuts and uh, well have a great video light So now the printers are done printing um, we have some great parts in different colors I have them in black in white and in gray PLA and uh, well we can now insert the knurl nuts and I'm going to show you how I'm going to insert those nuts so as you see I have a soldering iron and I'm just heating up those brass knurl nuts uh, to push them inside the holes that I printed now as you can see uh, it, it's very easy they slide in very easy the only thing you have to take care of is that you don't heat them up too much and because the brass stays hot I'm inserting a, a screw here to cool down the brass uh, then it will cool down a lot faster and yeah it, it will make sure that uh, your plastic won't melt too much now once they're melted inside 
the sides of the, the brass knurl nuts, make sure they won't turn around. So uh, you're very, very sure that uh, once you inserted them, they won't come loose and they won't turn around. So those are specially made for this task. Now, as you saw, it was very easy to create this. And uh, you just need some of those flashlights. Uh, they're very uh, inexpensive, only $2.50 each. So I bought a whole lot of them. Uh, you need those uh, clamps that you can create yourself. And uh, well, it, it's very easy to create. Uh, put some knurl nuts inside and you can uh, mount them everywhere on every light stand, every tripod, everything you have around uh, where you can mount a, a photo camera, there you can also mount these clamps. And uh, well, it's, it's very easy to create. And it's fun to create, because now you can create your own, well, effect light or disco light or whatever you like, because you can clamp every type of lamp inside. Now, this is it. If you liked it, then please hit the like button. And if you want to support this channel, well, you, there are two ways you can do so. You can become a Patreon supporter uh, for a dollar a month, or you can uh, just buy me a cup of coffee. The links are both in the description down below. And also the files that I made, uh, they will be available on Patreon, but also for free on Thingiverse. Because I always want that everyone, even if you, if you don't become a Patreon or whatever, uh, everyone has to be uh, yeah, infected with the virus of 3D printing. So it, it will always be for free as well. Uh, now, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.